Greetings, brave traveler, and as always, I hope you're having a fan frickin tastic day. Today we're going to take a look at our Enhancement Shaman Biss set for Phase 3. Notice, immediately, there is no tier in our Biss set. We don't use tier, it's not very strong, the set bonuses are crap, and it's a complete change from last tier in that regard. It's a good thing that we don't use tier in some ways, but also, all of these items are heavily contested by somebody, so enjoy the possibility of riding low on the gear list. Hopefully, your raid leader will see the potential of enhancement going forward. Phase 3, all the way through Phase 5, we become powerhouses. So maybe we'll get some favor if we've been a good raider. Anyways, let's get right into it. First vision of Sargeras, obviously our Biss Helm. This is the only piece that I could potentially see an argument for going into the Sky Shatter cover temporarily, but inevitably this will be your best. So, you could jump from your Cataclysm Helm, because you're going to be replacing your four-piece tier set anyway, and go to the Sky Shatter cover as a backup option since tier pieces will drop much more frequently than the Cursed Vision of Sargeras and every physical DPS basically will want this helm. So consider that. When you're making your loot list, you can have this as a backup item. Next, Choker of Endless Nightmares. There's no discussion on it. It's pretty straightforward. Strongest neck piece. This one gets a little hairy. Uh, expertise is a very valuable stat, but also so is haste. So we may keep our shoulder pads of the stranger for a while and be okay with that. The haste from the shoulders is very nice. I could see an argument to stick with the shoulder pads of the stranger for the entire tier, but you will miss out on 38 haste, which is a lot of haste. So trade that for 10 expertise. It's very close. I would say that expertise is also very valuable. I'm going to stick with these for a while, but I will inevitably switch to the haste shoulders. Shadow Moon Destroyer's Drape, the obvious choice, there is no other. Midnight Chest Guard, very clearly Biss by a long shot. Deadly Cuffs, not necessarily the qu clear winner. You can swap these with Lightning Reflexes. This will give you more haste, but hit rating is something that we still want to worry about. We don't want to drop too low on the hit rating. Otherwise, we're just not going to be hitting the boss. We could swing as fast as we want to, but hitting the boss is not going to be a thing. I'm going to go with the Deadly Cuffs. You could make an argument for going with the bindings of lightning reflexes here. The weapon choice is a little bit difficult. So, arguably, the Vengeful Gladiator's Cleavers are the ultimate weapons in this regard. They have 349 high-end damage. And comparing that to what other sets will call for is the Siphon of Nathrazim. Very strong maces. I would say these are actually your second bis because of the proc and the fact that they're slow and have a high end damage cap. And with all the haste that you'll be getting, these are going to be quite strong. Being as the Vengeful Gladiator's Cleavers only have a 20 damage high end difference and they're a little faster, I think this is the way to go. 49 uh, armor penetration on both of those items is very very good so i'm gonna try for these and my other enhancement shaman in the guild is going for the siphon of nathrazim wants two of those obviously in the meantime i've prioed rising tide just to hold out until i get those axes if i'm unsuccessful i'll switch over to the siphon of nathrazim Thankfully, there's not really a lot of people competing for these items as the this for like rogues and things like that are different. Grips of Damnation are your absolute bis. A second alternative would be Fists of Maqua. I think that these are going to be a very viable option as Grips of Damnation will be like highly competitive. Of course, they'll be the absolute bis for everybody. This is a good option to pick up secondary and it's male, so it excludes rogues from the list of people that can use this item. Belt of 100 deaths, still bis. The expertise is too good. With high attack power, double gem slots, it's a very strong item. Plus, it gives us one of our blue socket pieces, which is important to activate 
our gem. I have chosen, however, to put Bone Weave Girdle on my list and Shadow Stalker's Cord as like backup items until maybe I get this. I will probably be pugging for this for a while if the guild decides not to go back and do these at any point. It is what it is. Thankfully, Serpent Shrine Cavern is very easy now. We'll move to the leggings. So this is another spot where there is item contention, if you will. The bow stitch leggings are going to be hands down your highest stats available, putting three strength gems in the leggings or two strength gems, one blue gem to activate our meta socket. These leggings outright at base level have the best stats. However, Shady Dealer's pantaloons have 175 armor penetration. These two items are very close together, closer than I would say these sims are showing on 70 upgrades, only because armor penetration scales so well. Yes, you'll lose attack power. Yes, you'll lose crit, but you gain 175 armor penetration. These are very close. I would look at, I would consider uh, this as your ultimate bis in the end. However, many arguments could be made for the Shady Dealer's pantaloons. They're very close. Consider it. Shadow Master's boots are the bis. Another caveat, though, is if you want to add extra hit rating, the soft step boots of tracking are also very strong. They are not far off. The only benefit to these over these is that you gain more attack power potential as they have the, the red gem slot. And you could argue that you'd want to go red yellow here for the extra critical strike rating to match the crit that you get from the soft step boots of tracking, at which point then you're just getting these for hit which is an accurate statement and inevitably up to you. As of this said, I'm at 17.54% hit chance, which is good. But with those, I go up to 18.62. I equal out the crit, uh, but I will lose attack power in the end. So it's very, very close. I wouldn't fret too much if you got either or of these and be okay with it. Stormrage Signet Ring, the obvious bis. It's bis for everybody. It has 126 armor pen and 30 hit rating and 66 attack power. It's just the best one. Band of Devastation is a very good second ring to have as you have haste on this ring. If there's extras floating around from the trash mobs, maybe hold on to two of the Band of Devastation. Unless, of course, you already have a Band of Ranger General, then Keep that for now. Madness of the Betrayer, obviously the best trinket you could have. There are many, many arguments for either Bloodlust Brooch as second or Tsunami Talisman. Both of these are extremely powerful. Tsunami Talisman has more uptime on the increased attack power. However, baseline attack power is also very strong. So these are very close. Uh, the actual end-all be-all mathematics would probably be Tsunami Talisman and Madness of the Betrayer. They're going to be mathematically very close at the end of the day. Unused trinkets tend to go really well with racials. So if you're an orc or primarily a troll, Bloodlust Brooch will probably be better for you at the end. And that's it for Enhancement Bis. If you have any opinions on what you're going to do, feel free to leave feedback in the comments below. I will address every single comment and we can have a discussion about what you are choosing in some of these item slots. And maybe at the end of the day, I'll switch my decision uh, based on your evidence. But from all of my research on this topic, these are the items and the set that I am choosing. I think having 19% hit is very valuable. I think having 11 expertise is okay. And as an orc, getting these axes will actually make that even more. So that's something important to consider. I would argue that if you're going to be a troll or a tauren, that baseline, you could honestly not worry about the Vengeful Gladiator's Cleavers and just go with the Siphon of Nathrezim or... You could go with Rising Tide even, but Siphon of Nathrezim will be a second, the second highest damage with the proc. 
if you want to see my transition into enhancement from elemental while still also providing elemental videos of course because i'm an elemental shaman at heart and i'm doing enhancement to help my guild because we need a second enhancement shaman it's also something that i've been passionate about shamans are just great in general so if you want to watch povs of shamans more things coming up for wrath of the lich king i have a ton of content on that coming feel free to hit the subscribe button it would really help me out and mean the world to me otherwise until next time folks farewell <laughs>